So when we're creating um, inside the forest kind of look or jungle, lighting it will play crucial kind of part in this, and it's what we want. We want to create this um, feel overhanging without actually showing. So we'll need to put some lights, almost like rays going, and split them around. So we can do this few ways. Okay. For now, let's go begin by creating our floor right here for the ground. And I'm going to just create a high field terrain. This is a little bit too big for us, so we'll go shrink down. And if you're using um, Extreme or Infinity, you will have the measurement so you can see what size. But overall, if you reduce size and you can go inside the properties you can see what the size is for your uh, terrain so and let's go just set 50 meters by 50 meters so we don't need to very tall i don't really care about how high it is because i'm going take and squeeze down so all what it is it's a little bit um about the platform where I'm going to populate and put in some grass and other items. As we're doing this, also notice when I come closer, I move it and up and my camera will adjust so I don't want it. I want to control my camera for this reason. I'm going inside the camera properties and uncheck hide box. This has allowed me to uh, move camera to position I wanted. However, you notice sometimes it's going to be dropped underground. Be careful how you use them for what purpose, but for us it will work. As well, I'm going to double time click on a camera or right click and go to options. And I want also uncheck after exposure from the camera and natural film response. I just want to see exactly the same what I have. It. If you have enable and uh, you will add some lights, you will see how it's adjust, something become darker. So a little bit harder to control with this. It's maybe okay when you do on the beginning, but when you start um, adjusting and working a little bit with, uh, with the lights, you probably want to disable this after mode. Okay, so right here we have it, our terrain. We have it, um, let's drop this terrain to the ground. Okay, we have it, our terrain camera. Let's go right now and add a few things to our terrain. The one you'll notice we have it kind of like heels on top, which I want to keep it this way. Um, if you think about perspective, this heel right here on the side, if we look, this is will obstruct the camera view of far away. So in this way, we're creating kind of a little bit more cheating in a way, but we don't need to put plans behind. So highest we need to put it on this area and that is pro prevent us from overpopulating or using too much resources inside the view so we put it plants on the top it will obstruct the view and we are assuming that some plants may be on the back more so we're okay with this as well we need don't need it populate plants right here put up front of the camera i'm actually going to take camera and put it slip it up so i want to use about two third rules and it does help sometimes if you right click on this kind of cube and going inside the frame guides and inside frame guides we can enable so you can also enable the safe zone and we also can have four by three this is field grid so let's go enable and right here you can see we kind of help for us to divide so if we want to adjust it to third we can put it like right there and now we have it simple two-third of the screen sky and land it just make composition easy and a nice working on the beginning you don't necessarily need to keep it this way but um, again if you start working and you want no weight of the composition which side is going this is a nice way to do it in an easy way okay so right here we're kind of done um, let's add some plants a little bit on the ground so I know how high they're going and we'll go with the first working uh, material on our ground so you'll notice right here we have it our simple um, kind of sandy grayish look because the Sun is warm it's look a little bit brownish on render but you can see the material it's actually darker gray so keep this in mind it's mean we will have it 
kind of yellowish more offset or warm offset afterwards. And also it's using the natural grain mode, which is combined between two of these in a fractal kind of way. And we can modify this by changing material. Let's go first unlock so we can modify two colors and we can uh, select first one, the lighter. And let's create a little bit more saturated, kind of brighter green. Okay. And another one, so we'll just select. And for this one, we'll make darker green, more even kind of like yellowish. Okay, you always want to do almost two contrasted um, lights, maybe one even brighter, because this way you will have it better kind of presenting between the grass, so you'll have those patches. As well, we can increase um, a little bit more balance to work dark. Let's add distortions. And if we need it, we can add a little bit more roughness, but I don't think roughness will look very good in this case. So we'll go back. Okay, and reduce a little bit contrast. So a bit more blending. Again, this is, will be covered by the grass, but I like to do this way. So even in some cases when we don't have a full cover, we can still see some of this um, ground and it will blend up much better. Okay, they have other tricks we can do with this. If instead, um, okay, let me go switch this to one scale. Instead of using the procedural um, painting, we can use it different material that already have it grass and that will help as well. So as example, let's go right here. We'll go create a new material and I'm going to double click on material so I can preload it. And I'm going to my folder. And here's an example, um, some materials. And this one, if you're interested, you can purchase this material pack. I think it's like tons of 300 something materials at a cornucopia. Um, but you don't necessarily need it. This is only as example. And you can see right here, I will open this material. And what it does, it is, if we preview, it is shot of the grass. Um, nice things about this that it is can nicely um, kind of blending with the, let me increase a little bit on that one and we'll overall default one. So we can preview. And this is, will add nicely those grass. So it's not necessarily replacing the grass, but in the cases where we have it opening, you can kind of almost see on the ground, so it will blend even better that way. Actually 0 0.2, let me decrease and I'm looking on the side. Okay, and let's just for now take our no bump map. So I want to preview all the way and we'll go a little bit more brighter. Okay, as example, let's go ahead and render both of them and we can see what is different will be. Okay, so right here with the grass and you can see it kind of simulating one case. Okay, let's go to um, hide this grass and we'll go to render one more without cover. Okay, and then right here you can see we have it a green one. Okay, so let's go ahead, set on compare on both of them. And you can see, um, oops, so right here we have it kind of before and after. So you can see we have those, um, okay, let's go increase this way so it does not jump. Okay, and you can see how the same ground, but this is under. So sometimes using textures, it's much um, nicer. So it will give you some flexibility in that. Okay. So I'm going for now, just leave it um, the grass ground. However, I don't necessarily want this yellow, it's more foolish ones. So we can always go back and slightly readjusting give it a little bit more greenish tint this will fit a little bit better as well because we have a bag uh, underlying is green we can always also blend by reducing alpha boost okay so let's see how much we blend i think this will work very well let's go render and see what we have so far okay and you can see we have 
with the blending we have a nice patches some grass so even without any grass on top it's already looks somewhat like it's have grass or some elements there and it will help us uh, to save on some ecosystem on a, some population so we don't need to put as many plants but it still look more natural let's continue in next portion of this tutorial